Yes, we know the mayor hates us, and anything else with an ounce of grooviness. Look, please help us find Tyree Summer. He's got shaggy blonde hair, he's probably barefoot and wearing a red shirt. Stacy, Trell, it's well known that the establishment here is trying to stamp out grooviness, and your band in particular. Do articles like these concern you? <laughs> really, Todd? <laughs> As a good friend of the band, what are your feelings about tonight's event, Stacy? <laughs> Tracy's on the loose. Tell us, Rob, when was the last time you saw Terry Summer? Oh my, what on earth? Load up the van now, now, let's move! I'm moving! Tell me, you got that on tape. Ah, I was filming Rob, you dim bulb. If I could only go back to this morning. Uh, the sun's shining bright at 73 degrees with winds out of the northwest at 20 miles per hour. Perfect for the sailboat race today. For the Apology Nun live televised show in the Who of This Fairground. Hello? Hey, this is Mark Hook. I'm manager of Apology Nun. Well, you knew that. Um, are you excited about today, Terry? <laughs> Boy, am I. I've never even been on a sailboat before, let alone a boat race. <laughs> I can barely sleep. Well, here's the thing. We already have enough people on the boat, so we won't be able to take you with us. What? But last night you invited me and said it would help bring me out of my depression. Never mind what I said! Just because I invited you doesn't mean I have room for you. You can lift your spirits somewhere else. Besides, you have the most important gig of your career tonight. It'll be your first ever live televised show, and we don't need you all having a good time. All right. Boy, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait! Be wearing a helmet when you play guitar, Terry. Rob, can you please get me the sap right from downstairs? Your guitars aren't in the studio, Terry. What do you mean they're not in the studio? Tracy! She... She what? She... She thought they were dusty, so she took them to the laundry mat to have them washed. But now they're back there out on the line drying. What? Ah! But the electronics should try out in about three weeks, Terry. I've got to go out and buy strings. Put water in the van. Yes, Terry. Not stupid. Hold it right there, Tinkerbell. Huh? Looks like you're on some drugs. Serious drugs. You're on drugs. Car 21 to base, looks like we got a real live wire here. He's no, hopped up no, Hey, stop that! No, it's a common rookie mistake. What? Prepare to search his hippie van. But like the Raider and the That's family. enough out of you. You stand over there. Hey, Rob, what's bugging Terry? I've never seen him this draggy. He's suffering from a case of mental studibactus therapeutis. What? Huh? He's bummed, Tracy. His groovometer has gone down so much that it's affected his songwriting. And for what it's worth, I can't say as I blame him. We've been let down so many times lately, I could write a book. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna need any more books. Terry will be fine. He's the most resilient creature I've ever known. You needn't worry about him. Well, maybe that gig tonight will turn things around for Precisely. him. Precisely. Lady Dove from Magic Land will be there. He loves that band. Yes. And Rudy McGrew from The Electric Glue. Yes. And maybe we can make him a big kite. I don't have an invention to turn Terry into a kite. Is that all you need from me, Tracy? I still have to go to the library before I get ready for the show. Yeah, I guess. See you at the show tonight. Okay. What is that? It's an Abidactus Electronitude. What does it do? It rectifies electrons and converts them into sound waves, ultimately achieving perfect pitch. Oh, there it goes. Ah! Ah! Now look what you've done. I didn't do anything. You distracted me and released an electrical anomaly. Ah! Don't let it get near you. It could be dangerous. Where is it? There it is over there! Don't do that! You'll upset it! Where'd it go? It's behind you, Tracy! Look out! It's heading toward a transmog of a Grab it, Tracy! He said it's dangerous! That was then, this is now! Like, what do I know? This is a past the same take on my emotional boundaries! I'm gonna pee my pants! We have no time for that! But I'm scared! Ow! 
I'm leaving. I'm going to fly my kite now. Go fly your kite. <sighs> now, where was I? Why do you have a twister knee? That's a good way to get yourself killed. I told you to stand aside. Sorry, Terry. This is just a temporary job. It's all right. Oh, no. Frisk him. Frisk me! Frisk me! Not you. You, just get out of here. Go. Fine. <laughs> just what I thought. You have bubble gum. Good morning, God. This is Terry. You knew that. But I hope I'm not bothering you. But I think you might have put me here to make groovy music and spread sunshine to people, but... I think I might be failing. Oh, thanks! <laughs> What's up, Terry Toon? Wow! What a wicked tabulous ride! Yeah, man. It's got a 470 rat pack and a horny overhead double bubble and a hold down Drysdale slick shift to top it all off. This is space age, man. <laughs> cool your jets, man. Like, where'd you get it? I have my ways. Can you give me a ride? Sure, man. Fab daddy tastic. Untie your toes first. Huh? <laughs> Sucker! There's ice cream in my rope here, Flo. Oh, it's getting cold. Just one more minute. Hey, please. my hot dog's in the bun backwards. I'm sorry. Hey, hi, you. There are stripes on my cup. <gasps> hey, Stacy. Oh, sorry. Are you in line here? Terry Summer, the man of the day. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. You coming to the show tonight? Wouldn't miss it for the world. When does it start? Seven o'clock. You're gonna rock. And Lady Dove's gonna be there. Maybe she'll get up and sing one with you. Right on. What? Give me five. On the side. Break the stick, suck my the straw. <laughs> oh, Terry, great news. Remember how I was maybe going to be late to your show tonight because Paul was going to drive me and he lives all the way in Bentwood and we've had to pick up Pam and Don and Linda and Beverly, which would have put us late. But get this, Paul put a boat motor in his car and now it only goes backwards. So he was crying and my mom asked why I was crying and I told her about Paul and I'd have to ride my bicycle all the way to the fairgrounds and she said, why not take her car? Because her night at the women's bowling league was canceled because the ball wouldn't return the ball returned because it got stuck halfway and the other balls got stuck behind it, which means they're going to have to reschedule, but there's a PTA meeting this week. What do I owe you? It's on the house. Hey, look, it's Terry. He's a gingerbread man. Hi, Terry. It's summertime. Terry, I love you. Hey, shouldn't you be getting ready for your big show? <laughs> no. All I have to do is put on my stage clothes. Hey Terry, jump in! Yeah, come, come on, on for a swim! Wait for you. All right. Tilt your head sideways, Terry. Ow. 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 Oh wait, push! Ow. Ow. Sideways. Oh, how I do hope nobody's checked out the calls of the Katie did. Hey, like hang ten! Oh! Oh, he's doing right. Should we call an ambulance? I'm alright. I'm not gonna cry. Ugh, it's gonna take me an hour to wash all this soot off. What? <laughs> do a triple quadruple somersault! Do a belly flop! Flip and Hurry, Terry, come do on! <gasps> Oh, Terry, where are you going? Hey, Terry, don't leave me! Well, I guess I'll just have to wash off in the ocean. What? No. Holly. <laughs> Just because people have classes, it doesn't make them Buddy Holly, Terry. Give them that. They're stuck. Those aren't toys, Terry. I need those to see. Like you can't get them off and stuff. Get those back, Terry. This isn't funny. Ah! I'm trying. Ah! You're getting on my last follicle, fucko. <laughs> I 
can't see. I can't see. I'm having such a big brain. You sure have a small head, bro. How many of these things are there? Who are you, Raw? Sorry, Raw. Alright, baby, stop right there. You on drugs? Uh, you on uh, smack? Attention car 21, be advised at 239 yard sale in progress on 53 Weaver Circle. Reports of electric polka records at 25 cents a disc. This may be a good chance to add to your collection. Oh, electric polka. Sounds sensual. I think I might head over there during my lunch break. Oh no you don't. Those are mine, you just lay off. No, I think I'm gonna head over there. Car 21 in pursuit. Lay off! <laughs> Sorry, Terry. It's alright. I don't want to call my mom. We can go in that store and maybe they'll let you use your phone. Zen Bob? Hey, Beery. You're gonna pick up Rob and go to the gig. Are you coming with us? No. Have you seen Terry? No. Are you coming to the gig? Yes. Painted. That's progress! A skyscraper. A higher thanking. But it looks like they're putting it right on our house. Yep. But why here? Look who's putting it up. It's the musical elitist organization and Mayor Tucker. And what do they have in common? They both hate us because we're groovy. Bingo! We'll stop them from doing this. And where's Terry Summer? Look, lady, I don't know. I just work for the city. Hey! That means I get to bulldoze your house! kind of like it. <laughs> hmm, I don't think so. Oh, I know what would be perfect for you. Are you sure? Oh, you're adorable. Yes, it is. It doesn't yes, make any sense. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Clothes back, please. <gasps> nice wheels you got there. I didn't know cars came with training wheels. <laughs> oh, I've got more horsepower in my glove box. Got chrome plated head knockers, four on the thumb, bass guitar. That's right, I'm Zen Bob from Apology 9. Yeah, I know you wish you could be me, but you can't. There's only one Zen Bob. You're about to see us on your TV, so put that in your face. <laughs> in your face! In your face! <laughs> in your face! <laughs> Feel the vibrations in the air on 87.7 HULA. This is Timmy Transistor broadcasting live from the Hula Vista Fairgrounds. Where our hometown heroes Apology None will be playing live on national TV. The anticipation is in the air. The whip crew is setting up and it looks like they're really on top of things. Speaking of being on top, I bet the band is walking on air. What a thrill and what must be a banner day for them. I can't find your clothes anywhere. I was just in here. So she gave me back my coat and it was purple because she wore it in the rain. Oh, that's terrible. It wasn't even my shade of purple. Gotcha. Oh, hello, young man. Oh, is nothing what you kids are wearing nowadays? If it is, I'm going back to school. I think he's lost. Oh, bless his heart. Well, definitely found the right story. Oh, that's uh, perfect. Thank you, young man. All hands on deck. Ah! Oh, dear. 
Oh, hi, Miss Simon. Oh, oh, hello, Terry. I haven't seen you since yeah, fourth grade English. English. Have you been working on your dangling participles? Oh, Terry, I know where your clothes are. You left them in the dressing room. Oh, my stars. <gasps> of you course. That lace. There's no way. Crud. Can I just that. put on something? Oh, of course. But first, this is the perfect time to get you all measured up. <gasps> oh, before you do that, can I borrow him? Terry, be a dear and help me get a box out of the what? station wagon. Oh. I need a good pair of strong arms. Putting water in the van doesn't mean sticking the canteen between the radiator and the engine block. How was I to know? What does the temperature gauge say? It's right here. Like, like this. I can't see your fingers, Tracy. But why didn't you just fix the van then? I sent you to the store to buy a hose and we came back with panting hose. They were on special. <sighs> what does the temperature gauge say? Right here. Oh, fiddlesticks. Yay, we're going downhill. Oh, the brakes! Put on the brakes! Oh, yeah, that'll do. Let me find something you for you out of catalog. Oh, oh, ah. this is just splendid! You have such good taste, young man. Everyone at the bridge club will just flip. Oh, you don't want that to happen. Don't I? They will Terry? Mom, like I can explain everything. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Your son always was the nature boy. Hmm. What? Crud. Somebody left these clothes in the dressing room. Hula Vista is going to be the new Western Central Hub of the musical elitist organization. We will interview co-founder Erda Gaguk and the muscle behind the movement, Borso and Fleg, who have successfully changed the musical landscape in several cities on the East Coast, ridding towns of the style of music that the higher-thinking establishment has deemed obsolete in favor of the avant-garde musical community. We'll all end up in the gutter. We'll all end up in the gutter. We are the authority of what good music is, and you are the authority of They are widening their influence, determined to change the future of architecture, fashion, and even the auto industry. But our show will focus on their primary goal, their love of music. This is my show, man. Cop a walk. You shut up. We're here to stifle and terrorize the groove out of existence. You give me that. Oh, wow. That's my guitar. No, you play this now. Man, you flipped your wig. What am I to do with this? You want to know? Hey! I'll show you what to do with this. Hey, man. I'll show you. Also, a new addition to Hula Vista is Mayor Hoffman Tucker, who is 100% behind the musical movement and has approved plans for the construction of the beachfront campus for the organization. All this at 11. 11 tonight. Not tomorrow morning. 11. Tonight. So I told the doctor, I don't have that kind of cash. Live from the fairgrounds overlooking the beautiful coastal town of Hula Vista, this is Don Heisler, host of the Summer Replacement Series Hometown Legends, with tonight's guest, you heard him on the radio, Sunshine Pop Rockers Apology None, right after our feature film, Hillbilly Bikers on Smack. Ow, man, stop it. Ow. Hello? Could I get a package of 11s, please? Electric? Guitar strings? We don't wow. sell guitar strings! Bassoons, young fella! Can't you see this is a bassoon shop? I'd have thought it would be blindingly obvious from the vast array of bassoons all around you! Henry! Henry, there's that delivery of bassoons just turned up out back! Ah, <coughs> thank you very much, Bill. Can I interest you in a packet of double reeds? Are you Henry? Henry T. Pipe of the Royal Pipe Orchestra! Who did you think I would be? But you're supposed to be in England. You're working on the strings for our next album. Racist young upstart. Just because I'm English doesn't mean I'm in England. No. Where's the logic in that? Can I talk to Bob, please? Bob? Bob hasn't worked here for 15 years. But I was just in here last week and Bob showed me some new guitars oh, and Mr. I... Oh, Mr. Smarty Pants, eh? Could I please use your telephone so I could call for a ride? Use the telephone? You've got legs, haven't you? Jump on that bicycle of yours and pedal! But the next music store's clear out in Brasket! That's all the way past Grandview and Crestview and Cedar Crest and Crestwood and Beltwood! Well, you better start pedaling! Fine. Wait, little boy. What? I know this is your big day. I have just the thing for you. There you go. Now, go put on a fabulous show and show them what you're made of. Oh, well, thanks. What's the matter? Well, it's sort of fakealistic. Oh, you give them what they want, you, you young ingrate! You wouldn't know a diminished fifth if one sat on you! It really is.
is a gorgeous day. The crowd is beginning to file in, and I tell you folks, if the band is any bit as groovy as the atmosphere is here right now, then we're in for quite a treat. I'm gonna pee, get some coffee, and be right back. Hey, Barry, come Good on to see in. It, kid. Free ride, man. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Free spirit, man. Please. Oh, thank goodness we're late. Wake up. Oh, thank you, Barry. Trip out, this is Timmy Transistor here, filling the airwaves with love as we play Apology Non Slightest! Hey, try this! Hey, man, man. no, like, try this! Thank you for having me! It's me, John! Look at the aquatics! Try these! Have you tried it with the soil? Yeah. Yeah. I got incense for each nostril, man! It's a body paint, that's house paint, man! Have you tried one of these down, man? Can you feel your eyes? Hey, man, who's behind you? Oh, thank goodness! Agitated. Tracy, she's cleaning up in the restroom, and I don't know where Terry could possibly be. I was hoping he was with you. I'm setting up. Oh! Terry? 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 Whoa, miss. Band personnel only. I am band personnel. Hey, hey everybody, listen, listen. Stand aside. Let's get the prima donna to go right through. Whoa, whoa, hold on one second. I was just being a butthole. Where's Terry Summer? There is no Terry Summer, D. I'll see you at the show tonight, okay? Oh, hi, Lady Dog. Thanks. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. All right, then. Break a leg. Uh, Lady Dog? Can I get a boy? This is Don Heisler again, and while the band is setting up, why don't we talk to someone with Apology Nun's biggest fan? Hey, I'm Mindy, I'm Terry Summers' biggest zealot! I got all his record escapades. Do you mean expose? Yeah, that's what I mean! I have all his toys, and his playbills, and his lunchboxes, and today I even got his underwear! The grandstands <laughs> are filling up fast, but there's still plenty of room on the lawn. I do. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, this is so embarrassing. I played a song today that went down the wrong pipe. No, I'm fine, I've got it. <sighs> whoa, whoa, daddy -o. it looks like we've been invaded by the ugly. So I slipped in the tub this morning, and I thought I knocked myself unconscious, but it turned out it was just a dream. This is Don Heisler, and we're open to interview Apology Nuns, keyboard player, and resident genius, Rob Van Geist. Can we get a better picture of Rob, please? As you know, Rob is the inventor of countless wonders, including the hypochronometric transceiver, the triphysmic electromagnographer, and the Kekomatic. Unfortunately, hey everybody, everybody, stand 
aside, let the big rock and roll star go right through. Unfortunately, we're having difficulty finding Rob, but did you know he has a little sister visiting us all the way from Kansas, Dana Van Geist? So tell us, what was it like sharing the house with Rob? Well, one time he made a motorized unicycle and it took off without him. It went all the way down the street and through someone's window and they called the police. And another time he made a device that was supposed to teleport us, but instead it... Actually, I kept a scrapbook for all of Rob's invention failures. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at that. What am I doing? I should have stayed back at the beach and borrowed someone else's guitar. <sighs> no, something would have happened there to screw things up. Ah! Oh my! Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid hippie. <laughs> Yes. Oh, hi, Waspy. I don't have time to play. Okay, Terry. See you around. Whoa, whoa. What did they open? An ugly factory around here? You're a standard issue ugly. Ugly muggly. What do you come from? A long line of apes? This what is are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Rob, there's something I need to tell you, but I should wait till after the show. You'll be fine. Chew some gum. It's not that, Rob. We're gonna lose our house. Yes. You know that the mayor and the music elitists... Over here, Tracy. ...are going to build a skyscraper over it? No, this is the first time I've heard. But... Nothing surprises me, Tracy. We have songs on the radio all over the world, and we still live in an old house together and share the same van. Nothing ever works out for us. We all know the show isn't gonna be a success. Look at us. As usual, we'll be the focus of everybody's laughter. But the music will cut through all that. No, Tracy. There's a gray dawn looming over our groovy landscape, and it's devouring the paisley fabric of our souls. Tracy, the last page of summer is about to be ripped from the binder, and I want to be here to witness it. I'm going to take a bus back to Kansas next week. What? I have rocket science to fall back on. You don't want to go back to that. Of course I don't. But what are we to do? Strap ourselves to a bulldozer? We'd become part of the new building because the surrealist world we live in would find it humorous. Why did you join Apology Nun? I joined because I love psychedelic pop and wanted to expand its musical boundaries. And I like you all. You're the smartest person I've ever known. But quitting the band now would be the dumbest thing ever. We're about to be on TV. We're gonna show the world who we are. Don't square up on us. Of course, Tracy. Groovify. Whee! Whee! Well, I should probably go now. Where do you have to be? I need to be at a concert and... Oh yeah, your big televised show. Oh my god, we got tickets to that. We're gonna be late. Okay, come on, kids. Let's go! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, you're a joy. Oh, poop rats! Mm, I'd like to get Barry in the sack and give him some attention. I hope Terrell's wearing her Star Spangled Bell Bottoms. I don't like Zen Bob. You heard it, folks. Apology Nun fans are sending the groove to your television tube. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Let's redo that. Never mind. I think I'm going to go interview a grape snow cone. I think Rob plays a mean harpsichord. Terry? Hey Richard, where are you headed? To your concert. Shouldn't you be there? Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to buy strings. Most of the guitar stores are gone. Things are getting really weird, Richard. Well, let me give you a ride and we'll talk all about it. Just move the surfboard back there. Well, thanks, Richard. You're a lifesaver. It's been a real drag today. Yeah, you look like heck, Terry. Yeah, but the bigger the deal, the bigger we fail. Oh, you mind stopping by my house so I can pick up my guitar? And pay you for gas and stuff. Oh, don't be silly. We're family. Thanks. I can get it all strung up by the time we get there. I was hoping it was just me that did that, too. I think you bought a dud. I need to take you with me next time I buy a surfboard. It's alright. Thanks anyway. Will you be okay? Yeah. I'll take a taxi back. I should be about on time. Well, I'll see you there? I'll see you at the gig, Richard. Party's over, summer boy. Come to headquarters with us. Oh, come on, guys. Not now. I'm going to be on stage in like 40 minutes. This is headquarters? We're on holiday. For every tree, there's a break in our throat. For every flower, we twist and grow. Get me Dr. Otto Thorpe. This is me. We got the summer boy. Very good. Bring him to me. You're on an aeroplane. Yes. Then make an example out of him. Who's that? Shh, it's Boso. Did you pay off the mayor? Yes. Ula Vista is ours. Which means the world is ours. Let the world know it's time to throw away their childish records. You cannot stop musical evolution. So be part of the revolution. Tell Erda my heart bleeds for her. Like the wax from a broken lava lamp. Kissy, kissy. Uh, toodaloo. Like this is some kind of misconstruction. You know why you are here. I haven't the clueiest. You are going to help us revolutionize the rightful order of music. Like I don't have any baggage in that claim, you dig. <laughs> he will not step down from groobiness. There's tambourines and strings and harmonies. <gasps> he sings of sunshine and love and ba 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 You have defiled the very core of the importance of the music world. Film him. Film him apologize. 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 I'm not going to apologize for anything. Fine being groovy. No, you apologize. 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 If we did, we'd have to change the name of the band. Make him apologize. 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 Never. Make him apologize. Apologize, or I pound you into concertina. What's a concertina? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Out with you, you senseless instrument. Ah! <laughs> All right, Goldilocks, that's it. You're under arrest. Oh. You have the right to remain silent. What do you have to say for yourself? But you're a Hula Vista officer. We're outside the city limits. The sheriff's department's my night job. Now get in the car. I'm just trying to get some strings and... I need to get a concert. People are pinning up. <laughs> well, you don't have to cry. Well, oh, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, all right. Only catch you doing that again, whatever you're doing. Come on, Otto. And she lay there with her lace all strung out. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened. That wasn't on the playlist. Let me make it up to you by playing a groovetastic song from the Pop Top Express. My spiders are the color of the velvet of society. You are weak. You are weak. You are weak. I'll try anything. Yes! Yes! Could you take me to the fairgrounds, please? I'm in a big hurry. 
just got bought out by someone overseas. You need to go to the front of the queue. Thanks. Could you take me to the fairgrounds, please? It's in a big hurry. Sorry, buddy. I'm only allowed to make left turns. What? Lady Dove? She's going to my concert. She's going to my concert! Good for you, Lady buddy. Dove! Hey, let's go! Ah! Thanks for the ride, Lady Dog. Mind if I stop by my house and pick up my guitar? Ah! This is gonna smart. Ah! 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 Lady Dog, it's me, Terry! Slow down! Wait up, please! Do this! Hey, Terry! We won! <laughs> Shouldn't you be in your gig? Yeah. Can you help me, please? No! I'm busy! Hey, I need to see Terry Summer. The big toe keeps breaking off. He's not here, Hetty. Where is he? What are we going to do? We're going to have to start the show without him. But we don't have time for butts. I have some of his guitar tracks on tape. Tracy, go into the audience and see if you can find someone to sing in his place until he arrives. Barry, please grab the lawnmower beneath the grandstands where we stowed our gear. Zen, I need you to take your hot rod to the entrance and grab that cardboard promotional cutout of us. I don't have a hot rod. You, you know what I'm talking about, your car. No. Zen, it's orange and sparkly and you've been taunting and terrorizing people with it all day. I don't have a it's car. It's right out we here. We don't share the same van, man. Don't press my buttons, Zen. You're pressing my buttons. <laughs> Stop it! You're going to give me a nervous breakdown. It's because you think I'm square. You can just walk all over me, I don't you? I think you flipped your lid. Your gourds run out of cord. The only thing I've run out of is patience for your unfunny shenanigans. Consider seeing a shrink. You this to me every time. You thought about every time. Fogging up. Your glasses, well, you're, man. you're a total thing, and you can sit on your gear shift, not for all I care. Mama might be out there listening to this. Well, I'm about to move back with her in Topeka. I'd rather be anywhere than here with you. Well, uh, say something you can't take back. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Yay, I'm a real swinger. Wee! This is just like a shooting gallery. I can do this. Perfect. Now for phase two. Help! Help! Oh! 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 <laughs> Sorry, wheelbarrow. singer. A donkey? We can't use it. But you said a singer, and he looks just like Terry. Well, nobody's gonna buy that, and besides, we've already got it taken care of. Oh, and shucks. Don't worry about me. I know every Apology Nun song. All right, fine, <laughs> then you'll know your cue. Get a microphone and hide. Everyone else take your places. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The band is staged and ready to launch. To see it off in style, here's the mayor of Hula Vista, Hoffman Tucker. I'm now giving a Hula Vista hello to Apology Nuns Coast to Coast fan. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, punks and morons. As your new mayor, I'd like to welcome you to the new Hula Vista and a new tomorrow, googie and groovy free. <laughs> In fact, we've already started disassembling the old eyesore Hula Vista sign. Leave it. Don't listen to him. Just focus on the show, Tracy. Anyway, we're supposed to have the Elitist Music Festival here tonight, 
but it looks like it's already booked. But that's okay. Enjoy it. It will be the last time you're going to hear this kind of nonsense in this town. To a new tomorrow. All right. It's all yours. Losers. Let's give a warm welcome to our very own sensational Sunshine Pop Patriarchs, the Fabtastic Five. Apology none! But I'm afraid of spiders. So am I. Well, turn it off then. It's too bright. You do it. No, you. You're making this extraordinarily difficult, Tracy. Well, you can sit on it. No, it's too hot for that. Oh, for the love of George. Who took my cotter pin? What's a cotter pin? I just love a happy ending, even if it's for a family of coconuts. The musical leaders? You're gonna be a building block in the very thing that's destroying everything I stand for? Crud. Terry! 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 Terry, Terry, Terry I'm so hot. Now that you're being egotistical, it'd be a good time for you to sing lead on one of your songs. How bad I do it all for you? Never mind. Sing that one Terry's writing about the sand beneath him. But it doesn't have a chorus yet. You'll most likely get booed before we get that far. I... Just play your flute or something. What if I... I don't care! The audience is about to storm the stage and kill us. My entire body hurts, especially my bottom from dragging a van behind it. <laughs> Hello there, friends. This is Terry Summer, and we're here to bring you a little sunshine. <laughs> is that a bad thing now? Does everyone want to take it away? Oh, help me God, I'm sorry. I, I know you believed in me. I wasn't nice with Tracy this morning, I wasn't nice with Rob. I even brushed away Waspy. I think he just wanted someone to talk to. Heck, all I do is play with the guitar and stuff. I guess I haven't contributed anything. Now everyone's done with it. Sunshine's gone. No, I don't deserve it, but could you floofy me before I enter the machine? You could bring me back to something more than just like a small car or a cricket. I'm wasting my entire life. Let me redeem myself. I, I can do this. Just something that can help someone. Like a, anything. A, anything but a block in a musical leader's prison. Looks like the fog is coming out of the stage. Either the band is ready to play or we're getting a new pope. Great thunderstorm. Hey, I'm high enough on a metal crane. Maybe I can floofy from a lightning strike. <sighs> Sorry, I'm babbling. I'm in a bit of pain and I don't know what to do. This is one that Terry wrote. It's not finished yet. Just sing it. Great, now that song's in my head that I can never find a chorus for. It doesn't matter now.
promise of one of the sleepwalking spells. What? Wait a second. I dreamed this. G minor. A flat major. I promise. Terry's in trouble. He's somewhere southeast of here, but I don't know where. <laughs> He's safe out there, folks. Let's bring Terry home. I don't know. The last time I saw him, I was rude to him. It's a perfectly natural expression. Even the plants in my laboratory exhibit slight forms of rudery. You're a good friend, Rob. Likewise, Tracy. Are they gonna take away everything we love? Okay, now you're making me depressed. <gasps> we need to we need ask you a few, few questions. questions. I don't like to do interviews. Where's Irda? I'm right here, darling, in a, in a studio. I'm explaining to the masses the procedure for their record inspections. Oh, Irda, my heart pounds for you like a kettle drum floating in a pool of creamy nougat. Oh, darling. Mm. Mm. You cool, I yeah. right? stick yeah. like sucking up your you duties. Each and every one of you. I can help you with that. I can help you with that. We all have a charge now. You can't boss me around. He can do anything we want. We're gonna start by tearing down this stupid building and replacing it with something tasteful. Down with me and a fighter meant to look with a mansion. Now, now, let's move. Breaker 1-9, this is the Star Shaker. We're calling all cool cats. You got your ears on. You got a 20 on a skinny blonde barefoot beach bar. Wearing a red tee with a white tee. Riding an orange banana bike. Yeah, that's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. And boy, did I ever. We set up base behind the Apology Nun house under the ominous threat of what appears to be a serious thunderstorm headed our way. The air filled with eeriness of rescue lights and sirens and route to the fairgrounds. In all my life, I've never experienced quite a day like that. Can we reposition here? I might be backlit against the sunset there. Zen Bob, can you tell us a bit about the music elitists? I was just thinking about the spider on the lens. Oh, that was scary. No, I mean, it gave me an idea. We can use the Moduluma rail meter to transmit a visual distress message on the sky. Wow. I read about it in a comic book when a superhero used something similar when his mother was stranded on the moon. I just needed to get me a magic marker and a piece of p- <laughs> Sounds like the band is in front of the house. Just Why don't we- the trash can. How do you know it was my banana? It was your banana, well, I know it was your banana. Every time no, you, you do this to me, you don't care. It been your banana. I don't have time to eat bananas. Man, I'm the marker and stuff. Stay right here for now. Buggy's not Terry or the Jackrabbit. Hey, sir? You need glasses, you big son of I got a better idea. Ow. Investigators are still keeping 
taking reporters away from the fairgrounds. And I repeat, Terry Summer was spotted an hour ago in Seaside on West 88 on an orange bicycle. We pray for his safe return. The nation's eyes are now on us as the tide is shifting in Hula Vista, and it pivots on the face of Apology Nun. The growth capital of the world could soon succumb to the new establishment like so many others have recently. Oh, it's done. Broke my spirit. So where do we go from here? I'll go anywhere. I've never been so long. This is hard. The outpouring of response is overwhelming. It's really heartwarming to see the city come together and- I'll be taking the opportunity. The groovy era is over. I'm gonna fast forward you into next week, where you'll be scattered out amongst the various pawn shops. <laughs> Sorry about today. Or are you a hallucination? Ah, oh, dude. Bosby? Turn off the machine down there. It's gonna turn me into a brick. Just push the button. I don't have to break it, Terry. Crap. Ah! Yeah. Get help, please. I can't. I'm bugged out. I can't. He could be anywhere. It's okay, Tracy. It's just Waspy. I know. He just startles me. That's I found a... Terry. He's in danger. He's hanging from a crane by the seaside causeway. I tried to tear off the brick machine, but I can't help him. I can't move anymore. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's life. It's really groovy. I feel like someone's going to come up and smack me for saying that. Why do you say that? Do you ever feel like something's changing? Like maybe we've had our fun and now the world's gonna move on without it? Yeah. The Elitists used to be kind of a joke. Just a magazine. I think they're trying to take over the world. They're just some squares and empty suits. Did you see what they're replacing the Saturday Blast with? Uh-uh. Another music show. But everyone's wearing suspenders and stuff. No. There's this woman that spent six minutes banging a curtain rod with a spoon. And then she started dancing with it. And after that, they put up these wooden figures that looked a lot like us. And then they started smacking them apart with bats. The audience was in hysterics. Oh, are you talking about the new show You Will Listen? My dad calls it brutalist music. To be fair, your dad calls Apology Nun Pixie Pop. Oh, he got that from me. Oh, <laughs> you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Terry, the ice cream shops at the mayor committee mandated they change their flavors. Yours is carrot, but it's still the color orange, so it's kind of close. Tracy, yours is artichoke. Oh. Oh, and get this. My boss got a letter today saying they're going to close down Hula Vaults because of architecture is full of taste violation. They said we have 30 days to tear it down and replace it with a square building with a mansard roof or they would take ownership of the property and I don't know what to do.
You and your cruddy sunshine pop. Oh, I'm putting an end to this, right? Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You know who I am? I'll have your badge and I'll shove it up your I said shut up! Thank you. <sighs> I'm gonna sell this whole thing to the highest bidder. <laughs> Are you hurt? Yeah. I have band-aids in the car. It'll be alright, thanks. Sorry I didn't make it to the show. Oh, Terry, you don't know what happened. What? You didn't show up and everybody left. No, Terry, everyone left to try to find you and... I guess the mayor's guys had been disassembling the Hula Vista side. The S broke loose and it rolled down the hill and it hit the grandstand and exploded into a million pieces. It flattened the stage and you could hear it from all across the city. It was horrifying. Terry, if you'd have shown up in the show went according to plan, lots of people would have... You saved the day, Terry. Let's go home. Can I bring Terry to Hula Malt? He needs a good nourishing meal. I'm sure they're gonna ask us a few questions first. Cause the summer saved the day. It's Terry time. Time for a celebration tonight. Ah! Whoa! Terry, he's getting into a funk. Don't let him get into a funk. Come on, we're gonna get you home. Hey Stacy, can you grab the grub? Wow, there's a lot of cars. Uh, yeah. Your manager put moved the after party for the sailboat race to your place. <laughs> Great. You must be Terry Summer. I've heard so much about you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm Matt Quidway with Love Action News, and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions about today's events. But my clothes are all torn, and I... You're in luck. A lovely lady from Fancy's Boutique asked me to give you this. I'll be on your patio. Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry Summer. Terry! Sorry, I'm late. We were just as surprised as you two. You strung it up for me? Where did you get the strings? They were on your dresser, Terry. Thank, Thank you, you all for coming together. Hula Vista has its groove back. Apology none! Has begun, has begun, has begun. 